I'm Disfatai Monero. I want to illustrate on how we can do double entry posting in accounting. See, most of us have this issue with what account are we to debit and what account are we to credit. Now, remember the double entry system, which says um, uh, principle, which says that uh, debit the receiver and credit the giver. So there is a hint here for the asset account the debit posting indicates increased whilst the credit posting to an asset account indicates decrease similarly no no not similarly in other way around the credit uh, posting to an income account indicates increase whilst the debit uh, posting to an income account which is like this is account indicate decrease so here we're going to illustrate two transactions so the first one is sold goods for cash for 20,000 naira now in every transaction there is at least at least two accounts involved at least two accounts involved okay in this case you have to determine what account are uh, involved in this transaction which two accounts so you sold goods for cash okay there is sales account and there is cash account because you sold goods for cash okay you sold and what you sold was on cash so we have sales account and um, cash account now of course if the name of the goods is identified here you might define you might decide to uh, identify it by its name you understand but then we sold goods for cash 20,000 so what are we to do which account is giving and which account is receiving now another hint here is should in case you might not get it uh, at first for maybe you want to decide which one is receiving and which one is giving so if you are trying from if you want to start with receiving and it's, it's difficult go to the one that is giving to identify uh, which one is okay for instance now if you say you want to start with uh, giving sold goods for cash you might be a little bit confused uh, which which account is giving which account is giving out here okay but when you say okay okay what if i go to receiving and say okay sold goods for cash you know say okay who is receiving of course in the business when you sell goods and you're receiving money it means your cash account is receiving so by identifying the first account that is receiving of course you can identify then that the second account is the one that is giving okay so in this case we've decided that the cash is the one that is receiving so our cash is increasing now remember i said debit in asset account cash account is an asset account so debit in asset account indicate increase so it will be right if i post this transaction here now why posting remember we have two accounts cash account and sales account the cash account is receiving whilst the sales account is giving debit the receiver credits the giver fine now uh, as you can see also for the fact that cash is increasing by the debit side you can also see that the sales also is increasing of course you sold so your sales figure is increasing so for the fact that your sales figure is increasing that also relate to our and those that sales is made was made in cash that also made our cash to also increase is that not so so they remember the in second int credit indicate increase for income account whilst debit indicate decrease you can see now we are posting to the credit side to indicate there's a, that there's an increase in this sales account now we have two accounts here stated so when you are recording in the second account we are going to make use of the name of the other account you are recording against then for instance here i will put sales so i'm using the header of the second double entry here under the cash account says and what is that Twenty thousand naira. okay now for the next one remember we are debiting the, re the receiver creating the giver so we are going to come to the credit side of this income account and also indicate it as cash account then we have twenty thousand naira. that is fine so with this we are understanding that a uh, debit posting to an asset account indicate increase a credit posting to a, an income account indicate also increase but then what if there is a sales return 
Now it happens you've sold, you received the cash, and the customer decided to return these goods, maybe because of the bad quality or damage or expired product or the like. So for instance, now if they are returning this particular sales, now it means you are going to give back, back the money and also return back what you've sold. Is that not so? So in this case, I want to now show the other side of it. So now it means our cash is going to reduce because we are going to pay back that money. Then our sales is also going to reduce because we are receiving back the goods that we sold initially. Okay, by doing, by doing this, the other way around. So now cash will still identify which account. And as I told you, two accounts at the minimum will be affected. So here we still have cash account and sales account. So uh, the sales return was made in cash. Okay, so now uh, the cash account is decreasing. So remember the first int credit indicate decrease to an asset account, while the second int debit indicate uh decrease to an income account so it will be right if i come this way and say okay says again then i now have five thousand naira. then over here i want to have cash remember i'm re recording the names of the account that i involved i have five thousand naira. so with this you can see how then how do you identify how, how are we sure at the first before we recorded this return, we can see that we have sales of 20,000 and um, cash of 20,000 and sales of 20,000. This is the balance that we have. And the balance is on the debit side. Is that also? Similarly, the balance here is on the credit side. So the credit side of an income account is favorable, while the debit side of an, if an asset account is favorable. So, but now there is another posting which, has, which is supposed to reduce the cash that we have and also reduce the sales. So we are going to do a balance carry it down so of course here uh, the debit side is greater than the credit side which is also favorable because it's an asset account and an asset account debit indicates increase so it's okay if the debit side is higher than the credit side so this we just did the posting so that we understand how uh double entry system works against as uh, against assets and income accounts Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can like my video, share my video and um, if you have any question, drop it on the comment section and I will most likely uh, happy to uh, make another video.